everyone, I am Mariam Jamil, co-founder of Fem Course along with my sister have arranged a webinar on Millennium Fellowship. It's my pleasure to introduce Adil Ali Tariq, a prominent Millennium Fellow for the cohort 2020, as today's guest speaker for our webinar. As a Millennium Fellow, Adil has demonstrated his commitment to driving change and inspiring others to take action towards building a better world. We are honored to have him here with us today to share his insights and experiences. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Adil Ali Tariq, a third year student from Sikhs as mentioned. So I was a Millennium Fellowship uh, Fellow for 2022 and the project I worked on was Child Labor Against Child Labor. It was named The Smiling Child and currently I'm also working with uh, Millennium Fellowship for another project and that is Greener Future, Center Towards a Greener Future, it's called Greener Morrow. So now moving on towards, uh, I think so, the fellowship that's more important. What is Millennium Fellowship? So it is a leadership development program that is run by United Nations. It is a daughter program of United Nations and it is uh, organized as well as administered by MCN. So uh, what is the purpose of this whole Millennium Fellowship? The purpose of this fellowship is to cultivate a sense of ownership in the youth to work towards 2030's uh, you know, decade of change. So what uh, is the whole purpose of this is to ensure that the future is in safer hands, I would say. Different projects, different SDGs, people work for them. And the whole purpose of this is to ensure that whatever you are working on is done correctly and is done passionately. So the fellowship, it involves uh, the fellows, campus fellows meeting around eight times in certain programs in certain meetings uh, with certain agenda points. Then you develop different skills in those sessions. You implement those skills in your projects. And in this way, you develop certain strategies to implement your core, your, your projects, your different, uh, you know, causes that you're working for. And this way of collaboration, you explore different fields, different aspects of the projects as well. So what you do is that you challenge yourself, you challenge others, to implement things properly. In this way, a lot of things, a lot of ideas come on board, you know, come uh, to the surface. A lot of a lot of things get sorted out in this. So uh, whatever projects that you want to implement, as you mentioned in the uh, you know screening rounds, you will implement that and that will set up a challenge for you. So be sure to, you know, set that accurately, vividly, so what you want to achieve, how you want to achieve, and what is the whole purpose of this is uh, the materialistic approach is that you're going to get a certificate and you know that all stuff, recognition from the United Nations, etc, etc. But what it actually is, is to ensure that whatever you want to work for, you do that properly. You what what cause you want to work for, what SDGs you want to work for, the passion that you have to serve this nature to serve this mother nature, to serve this earth, to serve the people, to give back to the society. That should be cultivated properly. And this uh, Millennium Campus Network, this helps you do that, you know, to ensure that you connect to the like-minded people, the people who are working on these projects. You all give a collective effort to achieve this. So this is what Millennium Fellowship is truly about. So what's eligibility criteria? The students, they should be undergrad students. Uh, currently enrolled in the uh, not eighth, uh, lesser than eighth semester, and they should be 18 years old. The age limit is because certain projects they involve uh, traveling, they involve certain topics to be covered. So that that is the reason I think so. 18 year mark has been imposed by the Millennium Fellowship. Then again, I mentioned that you should uh, meet around eight times. I remember or six times for the fellowship. Uh, with the campus directors, they lead with the campus directors. They lead those sessions. In those sessions, there are different grooming sessions for you, different activities planned to you know help you groom yourself in interpersonal skills and in skills that are involved in you running your society, uh, in running your uh, NGO, and running your cause, whatever you are working for, and running that you know campaign that you want to establish for the project you are working for. So different students from all over your campus, if they're selected, 
they're gonna collaborate in those sessions it will help you get to know them as well their projects it will help you achieve what you want to achieve collaboratively so uh, then the project that you have selected you will have around four months to work on those projects so i would uh, say if your project that you're working is a bit bigger start beforehand because i think so if you are sure that you want to do something you don't need this platform you start working on it from today so start working on it millennium fellowship is just a platform for you to you know come to the surface to approve of your uh, efforts to get that guidance that you need if you need it so start working on those projects from now you will definitely be selected for those so i think so uh, that's that's the whole important thing that if if there is an essence of truthfulness of passion in your efforts you will definitely come to the surface in this regard so one uh, sad thing i would say but critically important as well is that a campus is not selected unless and until there are eight students applying from that campus the reason for that is that you know this whole fellowship that involves certain modules of collaboration certain modules of you all collaborating and working together on certain projects so for that reason if certain college certain university has only three to four students applying those people will not be selected the reason being different people should be working collaboratively on these projects uh, okay let's consider if you have some issues regarding your campus there are only two people applying. what will you do look around in your classroom find like minded people we definitely have our friends right so if eight people are needed each and every one each and every single one of you can implement a single project but what is the key to this application uh each and every one of you will apply differently eight different applications working on the same project but you will mention it they, like this is nothing wrong in terms of millennium fellowship you can work on simple the same projects but application of each student should be different if i am writing one thing the other person should not be like copy pasting it write it in your own words make it stand out that will help you achieve uh, the you know full scholarship full security of the fellowship so coming towards the application process it's very simple it's pretty decently simple so there is only one week left for you guys to apply there is around two two rounds yeah two rounds for its application uh first one will be very basic next one will be more centered towards yourself and the project so i would definitely urge you guys to start applying right now because uh this is the deadline for the first round so apply for the first round you will definitely get the email for the next round first round what is first round it only has two questions essay based questions you can write short answers no worries on that but not very short obviously but essay does not mean very long paragraphs uh, you can just write your essays and ensure that whatever you write stands out right uh, one question will be about your project the other one will be about yourself so if you are written well in that i think so you will definitely go on towards the next round uh, keeping in mind that it students also apply from your campus the second round that's the most important and the last round obviously so one key thing is be personal in this people miss that uh, this whole second round that's eccentric towards you what you want to do how you want to do the project it's yours right so own it write it whatever you have in your mind uh sort it out write it clearly whatever you want to do and be sure that whatever you are doing is is written very clearly vividly without any mist- mistakes and uh, the fellowship it's definitely going to help you achieve what you want to achieve but then again it's you in the end who has to achieve who has to do all the things there, there is only guidance from the fellowship but in the end you are doing all the work so you should make that stand out in your application that you are capable of leading this whole project or this whole cause that you want to do so uh, definitely uh, there are going to be certain questions a lot of questions it takes it took me around i don't know 2 to 3 hours i would say to sort it out uh completely then another 30 minutes or so for you know proofreading the whole application 
it's more or less and this time this time i have finished it around in one hour i think so not even one hour 30 minutes or so so it's all you know how you want to present yourself if you have things clearly in your mind uh, it's definitely easier for you to write about the application so uh, make sure whatever you write it's very truthful it's what you want to do it's passionate it's concise it's to the point whatever you want to do and it tells who you are and what you want to do and why you want to do you know it's definitely going to make you stand out and one important thing is there is a reference needed for your application whatever reference you have be it from your job internship any instructor make sure that they know who you are how you work the project you want to implement that should be mentioned in the reference uh, because in my reference there was a certain touch of you know my personal i was a personal touch in a sense that the my reference he knew what i was doing why i wanted to do that everything was clear so the reference that stood out kind of that i really want to do i really want to achieve something so that was one of the plus points for my applications so moving on campus directors uh, this is a form that is going to be available to you with that application process so be sure that you if if you want to go for this leadership opportunity uh, definitely go towards it and uh, campus director is kind of uh, you know like being a leader in this regard in this whole cause of uh, campus what you do in in this is that uh, with collaboration with the millennium fellowship network what you do is they give out give out certain uh, you know deliverables to you for each of the sessions that you hold those eight sessions so you have to lead those uh, attendance you have to manage that reporting of any mistakes any ambiguities with the other fellows you have to report uh, to the millennium fellowship you have to be responsible for those people who are with you not their projects obviously but those people how they are working and stuff like that so uh, the, the, this is basically a leadership opportunity i did not go for it because i was more eccentric towards the project i was implementing uh, i thought it will be better if i stick towards that so if you want to go for this leadership opportunity i would definitely urge that you should go towards it there are simple questions for this uh, like what leadership qualities you have uh, different leadership roles that you have gone through this just to judge you how how you're going to manage that okay how this program works i think so i've covered it but let's go about all the details four months you're going to be working uh, on with the project different resources will be provided to you different sessions will be there seminars webinars uh, different uh, things will be happening you will be covering all those uh, this is all to help you you know achieve what you want to groom you help you collaborate cooperate grow you know network with other people so the four things that sum up this whole fellowship is uh actually five things i would say first like i would go uh, go with like this uh, eight sessions they are divided like this first will be team building get to know the other fellows and stuff like that next one will be leadership how you're going to lead your whole project then the next one is going to be project management subsequent ones will be networking how you network with the people on campus out of campus foreign people everyone who wants to work for your cause for different uh, monetary intellectual or human resource help whatever whatever it is is needed and the last one is impact assessment so you can quantifiably tell what deliverables you are going to give that's important so one important thing uh, you have to set certain quantifiable targets in your application be sure that you mention them vividly and very clearly and be sure that they are very realistic people they are, they like, they would write you know things out of this world we are going to do this we are going to do this be realistic in your approach be sure you can achieve it like in my application i i wrote i'm going to get a certain amount of money that was a huge sum but and i would help around i don't know 200 children or 150 children i don't know uh, but i definitely achieved that target given my circumstances i knew i could work like this i knew i had my connections who would help me in doing so so if you have those there is no reason in not going back but be sure to write that if you can achieve that and the most important slide be personal in all your applications not only this fellowship i would say all the fellowships that you are working for 
all the internships, all the exchange programs, the personal statements that you write, they should be personal. There should be a certain touch of you in those that makes you stand out from all those billion applications that there are on the desk, right? So how you can make that stand out? I made my uh, applications stand out like, let me tell you the story. Uh, I was going to E11 for to eat something, right? So I saw the child and that, that was the point I realized that misfit jacket, pink jacket, misfit, that child smiling towards me beside that fire, you know. I wrote a lot of stuff on that as well. Uh, then after writing that stuff, I realized I need to do something for that. So that was the point I realized that I need to establish an NGO for against child labor. So th- this was my story. I portrayed it very well. That made me stood out, stand out. That made uh, the MCM network and uh, the UN appreciate me, right? So in this way, you have to write certain things that are yours, the way you face them, the way you experience them, and write it in your own words. Then proofread your application. There should be no grammatical mistakes or something like that. It gets a very bad impact. And uh, the SDGs that you work, they should be covered very, very vividly. And one important thing I would like to mention is there are certain topics that are considered taboo, but are not wrong in certain societies, right? So be sure to cover those. These topics, they make you stand out a lot, that you want to work for something that is uh, oppressive in, in certain kinds. But whatever you, whatever topic you choose, be sure that they are in the boundaries of ethics and morality, right? So uh, apart from this, be sure what the 17 SDGs are, how they relate to your project, what you want to achieve. Uh, your project can relate to one SDG or multiple SDGs, but write that clearly. One SDG is essential, one main SDG. And then uh, your reference that is important that that person knows what you want to work and how you want to work, who you are. And deliverables, be sure they are realistic, very important. A lot of people do not get their fellowship completed because of this. So I think so that will cover a lot of stuff from my side about the fellowship. Uh, I would definitely want to urge the people who want to come towards that, especially females. Uh, you, you guys definitely need to work for women empowerment. It's a very, very well topic for your selection, I would say. Different aspects of women empowerment, be it in terms of, uh, you know, market opportunities, education, any topic, any topic you want to choose in this regard, you definitely go towards that. That will make you stand out. And uh, in that, I would like to end by, I believe you can, and you're halfway there. So be sure to apply. And if you have any issues, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. Adil Ali Tarek is the LinkedIn profile's name. So definitely reach out to me if you have any issues and I will be more than happy to help you guys. So uh, that will be all from my side. Thank you very much. Jazakallah.